Guys, so here we are back in our referee's position. I put weight on his hands, right? I grab at his shoulder, I pull him to an elbow. When I capture the wrist, my partner stays tough and he stays in his base. I try to drive forward, I can't get him down. All right, so we need to be a good partner on the bottom and stay in our base. All right, so now I have the wrist. My other hand is gonna be in, the, in, in his thigh. All right, and now my body is perpendicular to coaches. He's facing you guys, and I'm facing the wall. All right, I have his wrist in my hand, and I'm on my toes. My chest is on coach's back, bringing all his weight up near his upper back, shoulders, and head. All right, so all my weight is forward. I'm using all my weight on him to bring him down. My hand is gonna go from the inside on his thigh here to a half, all right? When I put my half in, guys, I'm still on the side of the wrist. I saw a few guys last session, the high schoolers, all right, you guys gotta be better than them, right? Yeah. Better than the high schoolers. They circled around and then put the half. That's not what we're doing, all right? We're staying on the side of our wrist our hand is coming from the thigh to a half. And now I'm gonna punch the half down and stack them up. All right? You guys as me, I don't wanna see your hips come to the ground. I don't wanna be laying flat. I wanna be on my toes, all right? My head can be on the mat, but that's the only part. And I'm gonna stack coach up on his shoulder blades for the ball. Ball. All right, so we're going to do the same setup. We're lining up, all right, we put weight on his hands, all right. A lot of you guys are trying to drive forward to get to the wrist, but remember I pull him back to his elbow. When I capture the wrist, my partner stays in his base. So I'm going to get on my toes, and if he's facing the front, I got to face the side. My opposite hand comes on to a half Nelson. All right, I'm gonna punch the half Nelson down to the ground, and I'm gonna run my hips into his hips. Does that hurt? And we settle in for the? Yes. Fall. Fall. Hey, notice what he's doing with his knee? He's still keeping it real tight in the side, right? So when he punches that, that's actually blocking my hip. Okay, watch again when uh, his position, where he's at. If you want to see it from a little bit from this angle. All right, so when I get weight down, weight up, capture the wrist. My partner is what? He's a good partner, right? He's staying in his base. I don't want to see anybody flattening out on their opponent, all right? I'm talking to you guys. Be a good partner. All right, be a good partner. I'm going to come out to the side, sink my half Nelson. This is what coach was talking about. My knee is still in his hip over here. All right, so when I punch the half down, everything's nice and tight. I put my head to the mat, and I'm staring at the pin. All right, we got any questions? Nope. We call this one the koala crunch. Yeah? All right, so koala crunch. Grab the wrist, half on the opposite side, punch it down and stack them up, all right? You got a question? What is it? Why do you have to, why does the partner who is on the floor have to do like, you know that? Why does he have to stay in his base here instead of being flat? Because, right, when you're on bottom in a wrestling match, you always want to come up, up to your feet. You don't want to be facing the mat. So you gotta you gotta fight back and stay in your base. Alright? Wanna stay off that belly. Alright, on three. One, two, three. <laughs>